What up, Best Self Squad? Welcome back to the Trev Talk series. For this one, bear with me. I am just coming off of that 24 hour race, which there'll be a video recap on that down the line, whether it's tomorrow or a couple days, I don't really know, but bear with me. So, this week's topic is continuing along the lines of questions that I was asked by clients, listeners, what have you. And this one stood out because I think it's something that no matter who you are when you get into whether it's like working on your fitness with a personal trainer or boot camps or gym memberships whether it's health practices like getting a nutrition course whether it's mental health getting into um, working with a coach on stress reduction mindfulness meditation all of those things obviously YouTube is a great resource there's plenty of free resources out there but if you really want to dive deep into it it's going to take an investment. That's time and money. Working with a coach, setting goals, allocating time towards executing those goals. And so the question that was brought to my attention was, what do you do when someone close to you, so a friend, a family member, something like that, when someone of that caliber who you really do care about and respect as a person in your orbit, continues to criticize you for the money you're spending on a coach or a course or whatever. So criticizing the money aspect and criticizing the time aspect of you now allocating so much of your time towards the pursuit of this goal or this this new version of yourself that you're, you're diving into. How do you handle that? And just how, both with the conversation with that person and then also with that generated internal voice that's created through the expression that person has of what you're doing. So this one's pretty to the point. I think the first thing is like you just need to stand firm in your decision to spend your money on what you wanna spend your money on. I don't think anyone really has much of the right to question if you're using your extra money to better yourself, whether that is physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, what have you. If, if you're using, I would say investing that money back into yourself so that your quality of life and sense of self improves, rationally speaking, I think it's hard for anyone to criticize that. So why I think people criticize that is the, the bucket of crabs. So the bucket of crabs analogy is essentially saying that if you put a bunch of crabs in a bucket, one of those crabs tries to crawl out, the other crabs will pull it back in because they believe they're keeping it safe because they don't know what's going on outside the bucket. So that's what's happening, I think, when it comes to stuff like this, where people believe that they're trying to keep you safe, when in reality, they just have a different thought process around growth mindset, around self-development, around all of that. And so to them, paying somebody or paying for a course or paying for an event just doesn't make sense to them. And understanding it, it just won't. So you trying to justify yourself to them won't always work. But keeping in mind that they're probably not doing it maliciously, they're probably doing it truly out of a sense of trying to keep you safe, keep you protected from the big bad fake influencer or fake coach who's just trying to take your money. I think that's the biggest component of it. Now, how do you handle that, that internal voice? It goes back to, again, if you truly believe that what you're spending your money on or what you're choosing to invest your money into is worth it, you're, it's your money. You do what you want with it. Now, I know people who will spend, in my opinion, crazy amounts of money on shoes, on clothes, on putting into their cars, on travel, on you name it. Everyone has their hobby or their thing that they want to use their extra income for but I think again it's it's hard to say that if if you're putting your money back into yourself and your your pursuit of your best self and a great life and all that comes with that as long as you know 
it's like when people back you up, it's it's icing on the cake. But as long as you have your cake, I think you're good to go. So I'm going to keep this one nice and short. At the end of the day, there are free resources. So if that internal voice is really telling you, oh, maybe I shouldn't be spending the money on this because I just don't have that much or it, it really doesn't feel right, that's one thing. But if you truly believe that what you're spending that money on is good for you, you enjoy it and it's affording you the lifestyle you want, then it, it comes down to that mental fortitude and that ability to let those comments kind of slide off of you. And if it's someone who's really close to you and it's really bugging you, then it's just about having that very blunt conversation, navigating it the right way, but just letting them know, hey, I'm an adult. I'm going to spend my money on what I want to spend it on. I believe that this is the right thing for me. And, you know, I love you. I appreciate you. We can agree to disagree on this and still have that love and appreciation and respect for each other. But just letting them know that those comments aren't appreciated, that you hope they discontinue those those comments or those criticisms, um, setting setting your boundaries, setting your standards in within that relationship and standing firm in what you believe. So that one is going to be nice and quick, mostly because, again, my mental capacity right now is very low. And again, I'll be doing a video recap about Run Some More 24 with the training leading up to the race, the actual race, um, like the physical, the mental, the emotional aspects, going over the fundraising part, the recovery, the past couple days after, all of it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you next time.